right, in the upper right starting location. Uh, a map that uh, Terrans generally love to play Protoss is on. We have mentored by Slayer's Boxer. None other than Slayer's MMA. All right, right now it looks like he's going over those documents in the office again. Got to get this report ready, yep. In the bottom left, we have our Pokemon Protoss. Can he win this? Is his level high enough? Starting Squatter. And if he wins this, he evolves into a round of 32, or a round of six, uh, well, if he gets out of this group, a round of 16 uh, Pokemon. Wow. What's that puts him at level 16. Sick joke. This is, this is a, yeah, sick joke, guys. <laughs> Who are your writers, Tasis? <laughs> All right. Look at those nerds. They are down here. Thank you for coming. Representing I guess those MDs. guys are doctors. What are are they? Are they doctors? MDs? I think so. Are they doctors? MDs? Doctors? What's MD? Oh, they're doctors. They're man. doctors. Dude, I'm a doctor too. I'm Doctor Stankowski. All right. No, you're not. Yeah, what, I am. What? You want to get your PhD in StarCraft? No, it's just DR Stankowski. So when these man. games get really good and somebody has a heart attack. We can have that. Is there a doctor in the house? Yeah, and I'll then, help him out, man. Chew yeah. your aspirin. All right. Oh, there yeah, that's see. right. If you're having a heart attack, guys, you're supposed to chew the aspirin. Don't you swallow it. You'll die. I want to make sure I knew what MD was. All right. Oh, look at that, man. Doctors like StarCraft. That's good. That's good. They know what to prescribe. Well, I tell you what, man. It looks like <laughs> MMA has a fever because he's all red. I don't know, man. I think we should send the doctors over to MMA because he's looking pretty sick. <laughs> oh my, oh my. 2011. As well, you can those see, guys, those guys would be Nurse Joy. So. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, from Pokemon. Oh, no, from Pokemon. Our Pokemon Quest. Uh, okay, so as you can see here, the statistics here uh, for Squirtle, he's been improving since 2011. Now here in 2012, uh, and that's a pretty substantial improvement, 11 to 10 compared to 16 to uh, 7. Yeah, that is. That's quite a bit. actually a pretty big improvement, which is nice because there's nothing sadder than we see a guy who was kicking ass last year, and now I'm like, wow, look at that, he's really bad now. Yeah, it fa watching people fall off is kind of sad, unless they play in a way that I don't like, and then I'm happy about it. I'm like, ha, <laughs> my reality is the only way. Get out of here, bit by bit, Prime. Oh, that was actually one of my happiest things ever is the fact that he disappeared. When he got eliminated, when I popped up with a champagne bottle. That's it. I aimed the cork at him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the stalker is uh, basically checking for any proxies. There's a lot of uh, a lot of rushes. Terrence can actually kill the Protosses pretty uh, quickly early Ooh. on. Squirtle. Squirtle, what are you doing, Squirtle? Well, it's either DTs or Blink. A stalkers. Wild Twilight Council has appeared. Oh my, MMA is weak to Wild Twilight Councils. He might be weak to Twilight Councils. We'll see. But then watch the SCV scouts and it's like, the Twilight Council has missed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I suck at this. I, I, yeah, you're I really need to actually bad. play this game. You need to actually play it. If I go Pokemon play the game and we come back, I'm going to have sick jokes for that. Oh, dude. Pokemon jokes are normally really good. Not today for some reason. Not today. Oh, the SCV's oh, going to get inside. No. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, no. He like micro back for a second. And he sees a robo. So that so, definitely will not make him think of you know, now, the Twilight Council. Will it be a DT drop or will it be a Blink Obs? We will see in a second. I hope it's Blink Obs. Dates, I, 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 think it's gonna, I think it's going to be Blink Obs. Yes, it is. All right, so this is a build that originated in PvP, but it turns out, you know what's really good? It's blinking into people's main bases, and the Observer can help you out with that. Now, if MMA figures out what's going on and builds some bunkers in his main, yeah, then he's going to be in pretty good shape. Up. You have to be careful, though, because if someone has stellar Blink Micro, this build is like really Sometimes, scary. Depending on the shape of the map, you can build a bunker just a little bit farther back. So when they blink up in there, suddenly they're like, "Oh my god, a, yeah. a bunker!" That's true. <laughs> now and, my uh, soccer's die. Yeah, of course, if you can ever uh, scan and actually catch the observer, if the observer is caught one time, then the rush is almost over right there. That's almost the end. So uh, that's something that he's going to have to try for, and Squirtle has to be very careful about. That's. I can't tell you how many games I watch people lose because that observer gets scanned and they aren't careful enough with it. You need to have it on a different hotkey. So many times, even pro gamers oh, yeah, will yeah. keep it on the same hotkey as the rest of your I see oh, Squirtle no, no, no. already has it split I got, up. I got that thing hotkeyed on W, man. 
There you go. That's a good yeah. hockey yeah. four, actually. Uh, but he has it on three, so that's that's fine. Just as long as he micros it correctly, he should be good. Of course, it's going to come down a lot to micro and decision making by both players. Stim okay, is on the way. Uh, the starport has started. Now, this is interesting because um, MMA is actually out in the middle of the map and not um, you know, actually just kind of staying at home, which can make it difficult. Mm -hmm. oh. So uh, he sees right now the uh, pylon, so he has to know something's up. And he's uh. doing it. He's putting bunkers right over there at the edge. Do it. Do it. Do oh, it. He's messing up and actually not building the bunker. There we go. He told to start like 10 seconds ago. That actually could mean a lot of trouble. He's already abandoned that uh, expansion plan. And he's got to be careful here. You can't lose stalkers. They have blank. You just can't lose them. All right. He's going to take down the only building here that doesn't have any yeah, value. So not the refinery. Not the refinery. The expansion. I'm not going to mine from again this game. This is like this is like do or die for squirrel base. It's really hard to actually get in a position where you're like, okay, I guess that you know this game will just go on normally. He's got to do a lot of damage. He is making a nexus behind this. So actually, instead of doing uh, the style that oh, we normally I, I see, see what with he's this, doing. I, okay. Yeah, instead of the style that we normally see with this, he is instead uh, trying to do a kind of a light containment oh, style. He sees it too. Yeah. 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 Basically, he's put, he's bullied him up the ramp. And what he's going to do now is um, just try to use the centers to contain. Oh, really well some done serious there. badassery there. Yeah, catches but this drop and kills the, uh, the front door is open now. Let's see if he can go back up there and bully him back up the uh, the ramp. Well, and MMA. I, Squirtle's actually handling this very well. Yeah, he's doing a really good job with it. You know, that's one reason why the Observer is so useful. In fact, the Observer is just kind of in the main base of MMA. And this is a great contain for now. Look this at that is actually perfect I really, transfer. I like the way he's going about this because so often we see them just be like, all right, I'm just going to do nothing but make stalkers and try to kill you. But Squirtle is using this as a containment strategy because Blink stalkers are so mobile. He can catch Metavax, and of course you can sentry the ramp. Uh, but he is going home at this point, deciding, okay, I killed a drop. I delayed your expansion. Mine's actually mining before yours. I'm in good shape. And he's right, he is. But it's 34 probes to 32 SCVs, and there are two orbitals. So the economy of MMA, as soon as he sends SCVs down again, is actually going to be a little bit better than Squirtles. All right, he's now doing the classic factory, uh, floating around the map, doing the scouting. And plus one attack for our, our Terran range units is almost done. I guess the turn don't really have melee units, but yeah, you get what I'm saying. Yep. All right. Well, the game goes on. I think Squirtle did a great job there, but uh, MMA is, handled it pretty, pretty damn well. Mm -hmm. His observer is coming back. He just has to watch out for drops and whatnot right now. That's what matters. He's teching up to Colossus, and I love people teching up to Colossus, but that's going to give him a weak point. Until that first Colossus is out, he's investing a ton uh -oh. of money in it. Nice. Just takes that pylon out. Every little thing counts. Mm -hmm. In fact, he's supply block now. He has to have another pylon warp in before he can make another unit. Very annoying. All right. He's decided. All right. Oh, going into man. the man. He's got to be careful. Oh, oh and... Just barely does not catch it. That observer yeah, that moving was a actually very caught him in close the exchange. Turn. Actually, you know, if he had gone a little bit for those medevacs, Squirrel could have basically won the game there. If he snipes two of those, I mean, MMA can't put on any pressure whatsoever anymore. It's Looks right. like he wants to move out now because he can move out with a small army down here, and if there's an engagement, uh, blink onto the low ground and fight that way as well. Yeah. And uh, we have the forge coming up here. Yeah, about time for him to get some upgrades going as MMA almost has 1-1 one, one, and he's getting ready to start his 2-2. Two, two. Chrono Boost, of course, becomes pretty handy here. I'm curious if he's going to scan and get that Observer. It looks like he did not see it. You know, uh, MMA has done a good job. He's keeping his economy going. He's getting ready to take a third base. When someone goes Colossus, they're going to be a bit less mobile at this point in the game. So MMA is taking advantage of that. Of course, Squirrel's army very strong right now. MMA cannot attack him, even though he's 15 supply up. All right, picking up. Right now, the, um, the, uh, excuse me. I, I had nothing to say after the picking up. 
It, I know. It, I looked at you like, like picking hmm. up, and then I was supposed to segue into a better sense. But right now, MMA does have complete map control. I mean, he's really yep. dominating. He, the, the, the table has shifted. Mm. And that's actually, uh, when you go for a Colossus style of play, normally that's what's going to happen. I mean, yeah, sometimes you got to give up go, that map. Yeah, sometimes when you go charge lot uh, Archon, High Templar, you take map control. But uh, as a Colossus user, they're so slow that you actually have to play defensive for longer because uh, things like drops are going to get you because you're so immobile. Yeah, the Colossus walks up cliffs, but guess what? You have to be very careful. You have to keep your army more of a ball when you're going Colossus style. So he does have the Colossus out. And deciding to put some pressure on, he does have good scouting around the map to watch for drops. So I think I think that's he actually the part. wanted to make it look like he was taking a third. He sent a probe down there mm. when there was a marine, and then he got rid of the marine. And I think right now it's supposed to look like he's going to be taking a third, but he's not. Well, right now, it's going to be hard for Vikings to actually do anything against his. Oh, bosses. this is going to be tough. And actually, that orbital. Okay, nice. Oh wow! And just sniping out the Vikings as oh, best he can. Nice. A little bit of miss micro. Well, look at this great position he's got. That Colossus yeah. is not going to be touched. Yeah, as long as he has enough force fields, it's going to be very difficult to actually engage this army. Once again, right, a very... here we go. Wow. Oh, my God, beautiful force fields. Yeah, and he is going to just do a ton of damage with these two Colossus. I don't know if this is actually up. the MMA can recover from him. Look at how the way the Marauders are able to do. I mean, the uh, Immortals are doing the damage here. The Immortals and the Colossi basically unscathed. And uh, he's got to head home. Yeah. MMA in a lot of trouble here. A very nice timing attack here from Squirtle. Uh, you know, it, this is this is very reminiscent of a way that we've seen Genius play a lot, but this yeah. is actually a much quicker, more aggressive timing. Uh, really stalker-based. Very cool play here by Squirtle. Okay, yeah, CDs are getting melted. Uh, can you check the HP on the claw side? Claw side. One in the orange, one in the yellow. Okay, so they're bruised right now, and frankly, this counter drop isn't going to do anything. Uh, also, the SCD count seven or eighteen, or excuse me, sixteen. I guess in the glass, uh, just the uh, thirty-three probes, and diminishing even more quickly. I would say expect GG here. I don't think that MMA can uh, recover from this. Uh, Squirtle had a very, 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 very well uh, the, the timed out ten attack. The last loss it does go down. But now there's a the fact there's just so many stalkers here that can be micro. Yeah, there's you know like at this point there's infinitely. there's only three SCVs left. Uh, he has one mineral patch left he has, in yeah, his he has vein. He's he got 250 minerals. It's going to be empty in a second. Uh, you know, even though he took some damage from that counter drop, uh, this is just there's too many stalkers. We should be seeing GG pretty shortly here from MMA. Squirtle kicking ass. Yeah, and there we go. Blink, he blunked on top of him. He got blunked. So that is going to be it. GG. Squirtle. Some nice play. 2 1 Damn. over MMA. Looks good, man. All right. You see why this guy's doing so well lately. MMA goes into the Pokeball, right? Uh, Pokemon themselves, I don't know that they can have Pokeballs. I'm so sorry, I'm not familiar with this. I know. I'm actually just really bad um, at this. You need to just play the game. Can we just talk this? about Metal Gear Solid instead? I know a lot no, about I that, game. that game. Well, you are screwing up. Uh, guess which game is more popular? Oh, it's Pokemon. Oh, okay, yeah. Transformers is probably more popular than... No. Actually, I, I don't know. Pokemon's the movie way more... What? Uh, never mind. It's a classier, more artsy game. But is that right? It is. I, I disagree. Well, you're wrong. Oh, I guess that your opinions just must be right, and that's mine must be the be problem. Wrong. Is my opinions are facts, and your opinions are oh, okay. Like first I get of all, it. facts that are wrong. I guess your opinions must be facts, then, and mine must not be. Yeah, that's an interesting world that we live in—the world of Tasis's mind. Well, it's pretty good for me. I mean, I can't really complain. No, I guess you can't. Man. I can't. No, because that's also again another fact. Um, so we're we're gonna go into the game. We're gonna go to series number two uh, in a little bit here. Leenok versus Nada, a rematch from old, you old, old seen, times. You guys should have seen when we actually had to cast Yu-Gi-Oh! Because we don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, oh yeah. We were like, all right. They came between a five-minute break. We're like, all right, Wikipedia. I'm like, let's find stuff about Yu-Gi-Oh! to talk about. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah, it was pretty, um, pretty funny. It's well, like, this this rematch we're coming up on, yeah, Leenok Nada. let's talk about that. Uh, Leenok six-pooled Nada back in Season 2 and killed Nada Game 1. And Nada... Took his jacket took off. Took the jacket off. And I got like this worst nerd chills of my life. I almost couldn't cast him where I'm like, Nada's just going to crush him. Nada's actually angry. Nada just switched over StarCraft 2. He's not going out. 
in the no, first not, or second round. Not to round. this young kid, not to yeah. this yeah, new blood. To this random kid who just six-pulled him. Six-pull, nada, no. So Nada took his jacket off and made Lenoch look like a fool in the next he two did. games. He, and the thing is, Lenoch played really well, but Nada's like, nah, I'm going to take five bases. And this was in season two when every game was one or two base all in. I know. And Nada was like on five bases going mech and Marines and just slaughtering Lenoch. It was like insanity. It's pretty memorable. Um, and um, so now I'm, this is the rematch. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be really good. Fun. And but, we get to cast Nada. That's true. I always love to cast Nada. And Lenoch as well, actually. Lenoch's a lot of fun. Nada, I think, interesting fact, at least for Korean pro gamers, is uh, I think the most jacked. The most muscly? Yeah. Think about it. In StarCraft 2, about this absolutely. In yeah, StarCraft, StarCraft 2, absolutely. In StarCraft 1, uh, I think it would have to go to Reach, but I'm not 100% on that. I yeah, That's a tough one. Reach uh, can punch through the center of the Earth. I think so. When he does a push-up, he actually knocks the Earth out of orbit. I know. He pushes the Earth down is yeah, what it is. That's what he does. We're going to go do a five-minute break. When we get back, we're going to have Nada up against Lenox. So stay tuned. This is the GSL Code S. Actually in control. been hearing a thing Am I myself or am I dreaming? Thrive Thrive I wanna thrive not just survive I wanna thrive not just survive Feels like I travel but I never arrive I wanna thrive Roach Pack Creek Roach Pack Creek Pack Creek 